Number 16, letter A. What is the small separation between the two slits that will produce a second order maximum for any visible light? So we're talking about maximums, therefore we're dealing with the constructive formula over here on the right-hand side, right? We've seen this in the past, I don't even know, 20, well, not 20, it's only 16. So maybe in the past, I don't know, 12 problems. So this is now the distance between the slits multiplied by then the sine of the angle will be equal to the order of the maximum multiplied then by the wavelength. So we want to know the smallest distance here. So simply divide the sine of theta on over to the right. So now we have a formula here for distance, right? Or separation. So now it tells us second order max, so therefore m is 2. So plug in 2. The wavelength, right? Well, what wavelength? What well, says for any visible light? So the small separation correlates with the smallest wavelength. Look at the, how the math works, right? This is the numerator. If this goes down, d goes down. So what's the smallest wavelength for visible light? Well, it turns out to be violet light, which is about 380 nanometers, or 380 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, okay? And then they don't tell us any angles, but you know what is the what angle in here gives the maximum value for sine? Because if I maximize the denominator, I minimize then this fraction, right? The d. So therefore, a sine of 90 would give us the maximum of 1. So we can just simply calculate that, right? It's going to simply be then uh, 380 times 10 to the minus 9th multiplied by 2, and that's 7.60 times then 10 to the minus 7th. And that's in terms of meters. If you want it in nanometers, go for it. All right, that would be 760 nanometers. And now it says for all visible light for letter B, well, all visible light, then we have to go to the largest value of sine here. We're going to keep that a max, but now we're going to also then go to the maximum wavelength, because right? because now we need it for all visible light. So the only difference here is get rid of this number, t plug in now the value for red light, which is about 760 nanometers or times 10 to the minus ninth. So just take the 760, multiply that by 2, and this is going to be in terms of then, well, I didn't even do it in uh, meters, but yeah, it's going to be 1.5 1. 1. now 2 times 10 to the minus 6 meters, or aka that would be about 1,520 nanometers. So guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. Hopefully that helps, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.